uh, as a students today i will explain you the convolution theorem for fourier transform okay in this uh, fourier transform uh, the convolution of let us we suppose a function f of x and gx uh, capital uh, are the functions so uh, the fourier transform the fourier transform of the convolution of of fx and gx is the product of of the fourier transform of fx yes and gx that is f of f cross g yes this is defined as f of f of x yes and f of f o d x is clear okay for the convolution yes therefore this is the convolution theorem for the fourier transform okay here uh, to prove this theorem we prove that yes the proof of this is defined as by the definition of the convolution we have yes Yes, we have f of f cos g. This is equal to f of and uh, f cos g, which is defined as minus infinity to infinity. Yes, f of u. G x minus u is du. Yes, okay. This is the convolution. This is okay. Now we are applying the Fourier. That is the definition of the Fourier transform. Now, if we operating f, that is the Fourier. Then this is defined as minus infinity. Yes, to infinity. Yes, e to the power. i p x and here is minus infinity to infinity yes f u g x minus u d u yes this operated by d x this is the definition of the fourier transform okay now this can again be written as Yes, minus infinity to infinity. Yes, f u and this is minus infinity to infinity e to the power i p x g x minus u d u. Yes, okay. Uh, x minus if not here is x minus u, so there is. d x okay here is f of u so operating by d u yes now this can if you substituting here is x uh, x let yes x minus u is equal to v then d x is equal to d v and the limits 
again become the same yes so this is equal to yes so this is minus infinity to infinity yes f u yes and now this become minus infinity to infinity yes e to the power e to the power i p x and g of i p x so you so so you here x can be written as this implies that x is equal to u plus v yes so in place of x we write down u plus v okay and here is again g of v and d u okay g of v and d v is again here is and now operated by d u yes clear and now this can again be written as e e to the power i p u into e to the power i p v so this can be written as minus infinity to infinity e to the power i p u okay f of u yes and similarly this can be written as minus infinity to infinity e to the power i p v and here is g v and d v yes okay and this operated by d v yes clear and now this become you know this is f of u yes and now this can be written as this definition can be written as fourier transform of gx yes so this can be written as minus infinity to infinity e to the power i p u f u and here is this can be written as f of yes that is f of that is fourier of this is gx yes clear and this is fourier of this is n d u so here is d u yes okay uh, so now f of g gx is here and therefore this can be written as again this can be written as f o yes and here gx and now this can uh, minus infinity to infinity e to the power i p x yes i p not x here is u not x this is u so i p u okay i p u and here is f of u f of u and d u yes okay and so this become f of f of x yes so this is equal to f of this is gx and similarly this is f of yes f of x is clear it means in convolution theorem the fourier transform of the convolution of f of x and gx is the product of the fourier transform of fx and gx that is this one yes this proved the convolution theorem yes students now i have defined you some properties of uh, parseval identities yes uh, for this identities yes now we defined you some properties of yes yes next one is yes yes just a moment yes possible identities these identities okay this one Yes, this. Next, I have defined is this. 
here in these identities we have proved if yes these identities are defined as if fp and if fp and gp yes are the complex Fourier transform this Fourier transform of Fx and Gx respectively then yes uh, then the first one is first and second one yes okay and then the first one is You prove that 1 to 2 pi minus infinity to infinity f of p is yes, g p bar d p is equal to minus infinity to infinity f x and g x. Okay, and the next possible identity is yes, which is defined as 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity mod fp, yes, whole square dp is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod fx whole square dx okay this is the yes possible identities now uh, now we prove these point, uh, uh, properties here bar represent the complex conjugate okay now proof of these identities yes proof of first yes now from the inversion formula yes uh, from inversion formula for Fourier transform yes we have gx is equal to one by two pi minus infinity to infinity gp e to the power minus i p x dp yes in earlier video i have defined with the inversion formula of the uh, Fourier transform also I have defined the inversion formula of sine transform, sine Fourier transform and cosine Fourier transform. So we will be using simply the uh, Fourier trans inversion formula for the Fourier transform. Now taking, yes, now taking the complex conjugate on both sides, yes, we get uh, or uh, we get complex and taking complex conjugate we have gx yes bar is equal to 1 by 2 pi yes minus infinity to infinity yes gp yes bar yes and complex conjugate of this is this become 
to the power i p x and d p. Yes, clear? Let us this equation number is one, and this is equation number two. Yes, yes. So now here for the first identity to prove this identity first property. Yes, we operating. Yes, uh, for the first property. that is the integral from minus infinity to infinity yes f of x g bar x dx is equal to minus yes here you are writing so you get minus infinity to minus infinity But in this equation number three, multiplying the both side f of x and integrating from minus infinity to infinity. Yes, so this become an f of x. Yes, actually from equation from two. Okay. Yes. Now this can become. One by two pi minus infinity to infinity. Yes, G P bar yes, e to the power i p x d p and whole operated by here is x. So this is whole operated by d x. Yes, clear. Now similarly again yes this can be done as. This is again is equal to one by two pi, yes, minus infinity to infinity, okay, and G P yes bar, and here is from minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the power i p x yes d x. And whole operated by this is d p. Yes, okay. And this can be done as you know this is one by two pi, and this minus infinity to infinity. Yes, g p bar. And actually, this is this is what is this is this is the Fourier transform of the f of x. Yes. Fourier transform of the f of x, uh, which is you can say that which is equal to f of p. Yes, and d p is here. Yes, you have clear. Okay. So, so the first identity is proved. Yes, similarly from the second property, second identity. Yes, similarly we have proved the second identity and second identity. We prove that one by two pi minus infinity to infinity f of p bar whole square is mod of whole square is equal to f of x whole square. Yes. So for uh, second identity, let us suppose that g x let yes g x is equal to f x. Okay. Uh, now in equation number one. In equation one, yes. So uh, g x is equal to in place of, or you can say in identity of one. Yes. So uh, here is you can say one by two pi. Yes. One by one by two pi. Yes. Minus infinity to infinity. Yes, in equation one, that is you have which which you have solved here. That is the in you can say that in identity. Yes, which is in equation one, not but but in identity one. Equation one, not but the identity of what? Yes, identity one. Identity one, you can say which you can easily obtain. Okay, so this is in identity one. This is one identity f of x g bar x f of x g bar this is g bar g p f of p d p 
Yes. So this can be written as f of p and f of in place of gp you can write it f of p bar. Okay. dp. Yes. This is equal to and this is again is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Yes. f of x f of x f of x bar dx yes ok and uh, so you can find yes so we can prove that this is f of f of x yes bar this one f of x and f of x ok so this can be again this f of x and f of x this is bar of this is or this implies that 1 by 2 pi yes minus infinity to infinity yes mod of f of p yes whole square dp yes and this is again is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of yes f of x yes mod of f of x this one whole square dx here is again also dx so the so the second identity is good okay student in next video i have defined you some other properties of the Fourier transform okay thank you